ugly call. I didn't want to do it, but the guy said, uh, called three, four other companies. They all turned it down and said, call Pepe's. Uh, try for the rest of them. This is why I don't do these in cab shots. But yeah, so three and a half hours away. And so I don't struggle with this one. I'll get back to you guys then. Peace. By the way, this is what uh, we have to deal with daily in Los Angeles. I just figured I'd show this really quick. I am going less than 20 miles an hour. Sunny Los Angeles. Yeah, the weather is nice. But man, this is something you really don't, I mean, I guess you get used to it. Doesn't mean it still doesn't suck. Especially because we're commercial trucks have to ride in the slow lane. Oh well, on to the call. This is anticlimactic. It's not as bad as I thought. Let's go check it out. All right, first, uh, let me get my stuff off. All right, I'm gonna just walk out my cables. I kind of had a feeling it would be uh, something I could do with one truck, but what I'm gonna do. This is mainly for the audience is I got the help of somebody that's on their way. They're about 10 minutes away. So I'll be working this job with another rotator, but it's not Big Flipper. It's not Dave. You guys are in for quite a treat when you see. So what we got is a Prevost bus. Busted his oil pan right here, as you can see. Oil everywhere insurance is coming out for that i don't know who they're sending but they hired us for the actual recovery aprivo's buses are very tricky and very easy to damage and this one's a nice one just to show you guys but uh the game plan is to slingshot this out and with two rotators that's very easy so there's a fence here on either end that's why it's got to come out the way it came in is they're not gonna risk tearing it down even more. In fact, I'll use my saw to kind of cut right here where it's stuck. Oh yeah, it's still a pretty nice bus. Minus the busted oil pan. Well, let me walk up my lines. Looking good, Hulk. I got these things, they're called bones. They go inside rims on the inside of the rim and you put your strap on the outside. I'm thinking of using that. Let me get them out and, and toy with it. If not, I just, my trusty rims things with protectors will do. Show you what they look like. Got them locked away right here. Ta -da. Yeah, 
Yeah, never mind. I was gonna get the adapter for the bones and I seen these. These are my trusty 5.8 rope slings. I think these will be best. I got two of them so the other rotator can use one on the other side. Let me just make sure it'll work. I'll walk mine over there. So by slingshot, it's exactly what it sounds like if you imagine a slingshot. We're gonna put one truck on either end and pull it out in between us like a slingshot and land it right here. The good thing is this is a dead end. I'm in Desert Valley, I think, Desert Center, about an hour east of Coachella. Oh yeah, this will do the trick right here. Beautiful. Those holes are perfect for what I want to do. Boom, fits perfect. Oh, we got the strap in here, I got the protector on. This will do 32,000 pounds in a basket. All that's missing is the shackle. And also let me get my saw. Looks like the fence is already cut right here. Pour that clean. Just get my trusty, lovely twist lock shackles. You know what? Should I use the soft shackles? Nah, because we'll never come in contact with the body at the, the slingshot method. And look who has arrived. Any guesses on who I called out? The YouTube famous Plaza Towing. I couldn't help but uh, give Trent a call. I figured I was gonna be in his backyard. Decided why not? A lot of people always uh, say we should work together and I like that he's got the YouTube on the boom. <laughs> the famous Darl, I'm sure most of you guys came from Plaza Tow and still follow to, uh, them. This is Darl. What's up, sir? I'm sure you're used to a GoPro in your face all the time with Trent, huh? <laughs> so check this out. It's a lot easier than I thought. Yeah, this thing. And the thing, I thought the embankment was a lot steeper, and in there was the some. Uh, looks like it dropped off. It did. All right, Darrell's gonna go talk to that lone trucker trying to take a nap over there, because once we start this this little dead end's block, he had a pretty good idea that I'm gonna go with. Instead of pulling it out the way it came in right there. We're gonna side winch it. Oh, I got that sun glare. Where my rim sling is at, we're gonna winch it all the way to us with my truck. Put the rear end right here and then continue the slingshot out this way. It's a lot less of a dramatic climb. It's almost flat right here as opposed to right there where we can do a lot more uh, damage as it comes up. Since we'll be lifting up the rear end, that's gonna push the front down and it could do a lot more damage all right here. Well, easy job. He's good. Go to my trusty Milwaukee toolbox. It's one of my favorite drawers in Hulk. Look at all that Milwaukee tool stuff. I'll be using this one. Oh boy. Yes, sir. Put the fence. Got some invention.
I'm lucky it's on dirt too, it slides easy. Nothing's fighting me. stable All right, what I can do is let me let out on the cable boom up and extend out on this side I think we're ready for the truck then. All right, so we're gonna go with the new plan. Darl's gonna back up, and he's gonna rotate with this thing off this side because it's already starting. You can't really see the steepness from the GoPro, but it does lean. And he's gonna pick up on that and then rotate it out this way. I'm gonna go forward and to the left a bit, so it'll come out perfectly between our trucks right here. I'll take care of that right now. Drama. Seven hundred a day. And that's why he's cranky. He drives seven hundred miles a day.
I see the tires crooked. Sir, can we get inside to turn the steering wheel? The steering wheel? Yes. Let me know when you want to start winching and I'll follow your lead. I'm going to stay right here in front of the bus. Yes. Go. How bad? Holding. All right, tension off.
because of the bearings were getting cracked. Uh, ready. I'm ready. Are you ready? Okay. Engine in. I don't think so because I don't see the tires rolling. Booyah! It's, it's mine now, I'm not letting go, I'll let it rub. Yeah, it looks like a dirt storm. Oh, you think it's just starting to crank in the wheels now? Yeah, that's why it's giving me resistance. So it's caught now. Should I go in now? Alright. I'll give him a few feet of slack. No, in fact, I prefer it with the brakes off. Once, I, once it cl climbs that curb, let it roll like four feet, then just have them slam on the brakes. So I'm gonna... I'm going for it. Now! <laughs> well, I like pretty crazy. The brake? Yes, please. This was a, more of a pain than the top, but we got it out. The hard part with stuff like this is the damage because of all the fairings. It's a very nice bus. Darl's gonna use the use the deck winch to winch out the front. So I can pretty much let go of Hulk. My job here is done. Now I'm gonna help uh, Darl set up the front rim. They're winching though. I am off. You want to throw a block?
good. Absolutely beautiful. That was a perfect distance. I said it's coming out beautiful. That was a perfect distance. I think you're golden. What about you? I think you're good. What about you? Alright, not bad. So we've been here, what, 90 minutes? It got dark quick because it's the desert, but we got it out. We're safe and sound. It's a fun job. Thank you, Darl. Thank you, Plaza Toe. We're gonna put our trucks away quick and then I'll come back to you when we're towing. Thank you, Daryl, for using letting me borrow his headset. Pretty cool. I've messed with uh Synetics before. Comfy. I like, but I still prefer my uh SATCOM. You sucker, you were a pain, weren't you? Thank you, Daryl, for all your help. Thank you, Trent, and the Plaza crew. Very nice. Well, like I said in the beginning, you guys mostly probably all follow Plaza already, but if you don't, be sure to. We've got some cool content. Hey, Hulk UFO over there. Now we uh, put the trucks away, we'll say bye to Darl, and then how Castro towed this thing all the way back to our area. Castro has finally arrived. With the bus bars. Because Hulk prefers to do recoveries and not tow. Deal with it. I'll go down and I'll back him up right now. Keep coming. Those bus bars look crazy. That almost looks like a bull. What's up, doggy? Are you telling us a Prevost? Hey, these things are big and bulky, but they're uh, they're how you tow these style buses. If you're familiar with the Prevost bus, the Van Holes, I call them pain in the behind buses. I hate them. If we can't, if we don't have to do buses, we won't. But uh, sometimes it's just part of the job, and that's where these bus bars really, really shine. Castro hooks up, I'm gonna just show you guys why it was a bit more difficult than expected. One thing I did not factor in, and I'm kicking myself on the butt for it, is this is very soft sand. Look at that. Watch. Very soft sand. So if anyone's gonna suggest why don't I just drive in here, I would have gotten stuck myself in a heartbeat. And I did not factor that in when we were winching it out. That's why it dug in so much. Um, dug in good. I mean, you could see these little trenches right here that the tires did. Going up straight would have been very hard because, like Darrell said, we would have had to have it suspended in the air quite a bit to clear all that. And then all the side right there would have been all messed up. So, yeah, the right idea and us first winching it out, using Hulk to winch it out this way where it's more straight. And then, uh, all the rest you've seen. Hopefully the video came out decent. I was super distracted. I never worked with Plaza before and 
Garl and I were talking a lot, so I didn't really get a chance to keep you guys in the loop. For that, I apologize. Will not happen again. But see, the way we did it, slow and steady wins the race because there is no damage to this thing. Even like those fenders, everything is absolutely clean. I say we did a really, really good job, all things considered, with the soft sand, having to winch it and pull it out this way where it's more direct. So all in all, in a good job. Very, very good job. I'm gonna help Castro and then we're out of here, so. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully I got enough good footage to showcase both our trucks. Thank you again, Darl, Trent, and Plaza. Yeah, that was that was a pain. We just finished hooking up. Cashel's going in tow. I'll follow him out for the first 50 miles or so, then I'm out. What took forever was the stupid drive shaft. Um, too much to explain now, but just the name in terms when you front tow commercial vehicles like this, you gotta remove the drive shaft. And it's located right here in between the axles. It's horribly small under there. I'm horribly dirty. How to bang it out, all kinds of stuff. It's one of those things that what could go wrong did go wrong. But I got it out. We got it safely secured. Castro shot air, wheels are rolling freely, and we out of here. Peace for reals now.